Hello everybody, so today we're going to be playing Firewatch. This game is a very old game, but it's been trending recently on TikTok and other like social media apps. And that is insane because this game came out in 2016, which is eight years ago, but people have been going back to this game. I've never heard of it, so I don't know what I'm getting into. Uh, I've just know that Markiplier played this game a long time ago and that this game is a very beautiful game and peaceful game, but we're just gonna get into this. I don't know what this is about. I just know that you're like a wild watchtower guy whoa press x to start okay let's start a new game campo santo presents boulder colorado 1975 oh yeah this game it was also on for sale that's why i bought it it will only cost like five bucks you see julia she's about your age late 20s laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby cu boulder you henry are out drinking with your pals you approach her you're drunk so what's your you know major or you you're pretty uh let's uh let's not do that you slurred the word major and it smells like horse you give an awkward smile evolutionary biology she says and i'm a professor cool you reply what's yours she asks. she sniffs the air was that a burn you ask she says definitely worried she hurt your feelings she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger one week later you are julia's boyfriend oh damn okay whoa okay wow this game is cool 30 fps pick up our backpack so julia is uh, our girlfriend uh, what was our name you date for over a year she drives you absolutely nuts it's great you move on. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beers just about everywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay, I don't mind the dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Bagel. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I like German shepherds. Uh, you pick up the bagel and she names him Bucket or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. We want her to name it. Hey, Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. So four years later, you walk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about the kids? Oh, we got kids already? What do you think about the kids? Oh, we got kids already? Kids, mm, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Uh, let me ask, uh, one day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Hey, let's go. Oh, oh, yay. A thoroughfare trailhead. Wow, this game, the music is beautiful. Damn, yo, this is so beautiful. Oh, 1980, it's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, uh, I don't know, but I don't want to get mad though. I just want to ask her, but, but ignore her. Like, nah, I'm gonna get mad. Why are you four hours late? You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to, okay, I maybe should have just ignored her. She knows you mean it and it hurt her feelings. I'm sorry. You came four hours late. A year later, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he, man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, yeah, <laughs> very nice. I'm liking this game. Uh, Two Forks Fire Lookout. Eight more miles still. Wow. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What the f Bucket gets kicked? b f the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Yeah. <laughs> Beat his face. <laughs> Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. 
you don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on you, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get way laid by work. Aww. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away? It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Um, well, 2,000 miles away and we're engaged. So I don't know how I feel about that. But it's like, do we want her to follow her dream? But like, we still love each other. So it's like, it's like a very 50-50 opportunity here. I don't know what to pick. Oh, this is such a hard choice, bro. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to pick. All right, let's look at this. So if we convince her not to take the job, she's going to stay with me, but she's probably going to be mad that I, I did not let her go. But then we can like spend our lives together. Maybe she can get a different job close to me. But if we agree that she moves and commutes back and forth, then it's like like she's 2000 miles away. There's no way I could just check up on her like very fast so i'll have to call and stuff like she could be out cheating being in clubs you know what you can move you ask her if she'll communicate back and forth you don't want to move to connecticut she says that it'll be hard but she'll do it if you won't move you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants she agrees she flies back to boulder three times each semester oh i mean that's that's cool 1985 julia is sent home from yale on paid leave after having an episode she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. What? What? No, 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 no. So I let you go 2,000 miles away from me, and then you're just going to lose a job? She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it um let's uh talk about it let's not forget it after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they are worried that julia might be suffering from early onset dementia she's 41 you both decide to keep it a secret for now what the f no my fiance the heck journal what the fuck sensational was that me Bucky is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987, two years later. Julia's affection gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. What were you doing? She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Huh? Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. But she gets worse. Damn, that's sad. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with a 24-hour care a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I'm taking care of her myself. I'm not going to give her away. We're walking through the forest. I don't know what we're doing here. A deer. Hello. Oh. You didn't see me. Oh, shit. Wait. Why the freak was it bouncing like that? It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, you trust that she sleeps like a rock. So, uh, I'm gonna put a chair by the door because I don't want her to be unsafe. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Saint. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Shayla, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. 
You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 0.10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Wait, what am I doing? Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue, you say that you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Ooh, all right. I think we're about to get started. So, wow, that's sad. So she gets dementia and she forgets stuff quickly. And now she's moving with her parents. Enter the lookout tower. So I guess we are getting this job to like get paid and maybe like we can help her with the money. I don't know. Wow, look at this view. Turn on the power. Okay. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Uh, oh, hey, Delilah. Uh, radio. Hello, Delilah. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. Okay, my I'm name Delilah. is Henry. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. The heck? I don't know shit. Uh, you're... Okay, uh, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Oh, I'm assuming. Okay. Well, I'm she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28 year old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Okay. Day one. Okay, we're, we got the job. And Delilah is maybe like our guide. Or she's going to help me. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Sorry, guess I slept in. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Damn. Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Oh yeah, this. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Uh, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west What's going window. on? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, what? Are those fucking fireworks? What? I can't see- Oh, there. Yeah, copy, I see them. It's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really no. your job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I have to? I want to sleep. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into you discipline. You can handle that? What, do I, do I kick them? Kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Right. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. All right, we got a photo with Julia. Um, let's, uh, can I... Oh, look at us. All right, so let's go and check out the firework. Gotta check out what some kids are doing, or probably kids. Open the map. So we are over there. So where are the fireworks at? Oh, find rope in NF's uh, cash box 
306. Right, so we just gotta follow this road and find some rope. Oh, we're here. Supply cache. Wait, it's locked. Oh. The no, I don't remember the code. I thought I didn't have to remember the code. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. Next time, I'll try and remember that. Got a note here. 7th of July, 1986. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his loadout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like. Hiking into the park, but let's get F when I'm back. Dave. So we can update it. We got a granola bar. Let's take that. Should I eat it? Yeah, let's eat it. Let's take the rope. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Stop with the fireworks. Okay, yeah. Let's attach the rope. Going down. Oh, shit. Oh. Little tiny jump scare. Am I good? I think I'm good. Report climbing accident. Okay, I'ma tell her. Hey. What the hell I fell, you? dude. My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Hell of a nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. I'm not sure where to staring look. staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Oh, wait. Beer can. Ooh, they were here. Backpacks. Okay, yeah, they were definitely here. Can stomp out. Let's just stomp it out. Let's keep going. Oh, so bra. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna just take that and wear it. Okay, yeah. Uh, this, uh, are they doing what I think they are doing? Oh, there they are. Found them in the lake, naked. <laughs> yeah. Is that a guy over there? Yep. Boy, enjoy dealing with that. Oh. Stereo. Shut up. Leave us alone. You're a creep. Total creep. Go get a girlfriend, creep. Found a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Wait, where did they just disappear? Okay? Uh, uh, it went fine. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. All right. Um, that went okay. I mean, not what I was expecting, but uh, yeah, let's head back to the tower. I just realized, how am I going to get back up? I don't have a rope. Come on. Ah, how do I get back? Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. All right, I got it. So we'll just head to the lake and then go right. Hey, ladies, uh, I'm back. Sorry, I'm not a creep. Uh, I'm just trying to get back to the tower. All right, we got a path here. We can just go this way. This game is very cool and it's such a beautiful and peaceful game. It's one of those type of games that you play oh, a little bit. I have a bit of a confession to make. Um, let me talk. Okay, I, I have to answer. What is it? I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, oh, let me storm? know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. There's a cache here, but I don't know the code, so I guess we might get that later. I have to enter this cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. All right. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, <laughs> it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, okay. Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Oh, shit. Hello? 
Who are you? Who are you? Uh, now who the f was that? Jump. Whoa. All right, I've been recording for a very long time. This game is a little bit addicting. Definitely gonna make another episode of this. And maybe I could play the whole game if you guys want to. I'll just have to check the support you guys give it. Why is a typewriter what can here? I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind. What is this sound? Oh, how the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Uh, I'm scared. Let's head up. What is this music? Is someone about to chase me? No, 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 no. I didn't sign up for a horror game. Close the door. Close the door. Okay. Well, I guess we're not closing the door. Hey, someone broke the window. Someone broke someone the window. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. The heck? I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Can I close the freaking door? Okay, I put in a call. Where's the sheets at? What can they what do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? No. That guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Right. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, well, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Okay. Not much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Where do I find a gun? Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a oh, bad idea. Oh, great. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Grenades. Day two. Okay, well, um, we're gonna end the episode here. This is going to be a very long video. I like this game so far. We're gonna keep playing this game later. Uh, we're also going to be playing Elden Ring. DLC especially, but I might do a video where I'm trying to beat the game about spirits, but might not complete the whole game. Um, yeah, sorry Delilah, but we're hey, quitting up. the game. I quit the game? Save the game. Alright. Wow. I like this game. Hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I'll catch you guys later and peace out.